Welcome to Tech Wizard with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to load CSV files with different column list uh, to the Azure Data Table. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to learn about allow schema drift um, and also we will see infer drifted column types. So, so these are the two things we are going to take a look. Uh, so right here, if you see, I have uh, multiple files and uh, those are total sale files and uh, some of the files uh, has less uh, columns, some of them extra columns, some of them have exact uh, same column that I would like to load uh, into my SQL table. Uh, so this is my table and it has ID, sale person, first name, last name, per Tag name, sold items, price, date, city, state, and all that. So these are the list of the columns for this search table. Now, if I take you to the files here, I have less columns. So in this case, if you see here, I have ID, sale person first name, and sale person last name. Also, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this ID from small letters to the uppercase. So let's see if that make a difference because in my table. My ID is uh, all small or lowercase. So now that uh, it will be also a good experiment to see if the column names comes with the uppercase or lowercase. Uh, will that make a difference? Or this ID will be loaded to the table as ID. So let's uh, hit save here. And this table, uh, sorry, this uh, file has only three columns. Uh, and uh, these uh, are uh, exactly matching. So you can see that we have ID, sale person first name, and sale person last name. Uh, let's go to another uh, file and take a look. Uh, here we have exact uh, extra column so i'm going to go ahead and open it here and uh, at the end uh, you see right there i call it a new column so after the region i have an extra column and i have some values this is extra column for test or something so i have added extra column here that is not existing in the table then i have another file which has exact uh, same columns of what we have in the table so the last column is region and starting from id so with the, this a beautiful feature of a drifted column, what it does, uh, whatever the columns you have and they, they are matching with your file, sorry, with your destination in this case is Azure SQL uh, table, they will be loaded. Uh, extra column will be ignored. And uh, uh, in this case, uh, let's say we have less columns, those, those, the data for only those columns will be loaded. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, create our uh, pipeline and data flow and uh, see how this will uh, work. Uh, First of all, you will be going to data flow here and then uh, new data flow and here we will select a source, uh, add source and now I'm going to do uh, create a new data set, new and uh, Azure Blob Storage, go back to the CSV file here, that's what we want to load and then uh, we create a new link service. So in this case, I'm going to go with the, whatever the name it is providing and select the subscription, select my storage and then I'm going to hit uh, test and create uh, the link service. Uh, once the link service is created, I'm going to point to one of the file first uh, and then later on we change it for all the files. Uh, let's select the input folder here or container and uh, then I'm going to select one file. Uh, it's taken some time, I don't know why, but uh, it shouldn't take that whole lot uh, for you. So let's see. Uh, it's bringing one files, all those files. So I'm going to go with the exact uh, column list first. Uh, so it would know that. And uh, now first row has header, yes. And then uh, let it uh, read the schema from the file. Hit OK. And now what we will do here, we are going to play with this part. So see right here, it says allow schema drift. And if I hover my mouse here, right there, it says select allow schema drift if the source column will change often. This setting will allow you incoming fields from your source to flow through the transformation to the sync. So if your columns are changing, and in our case, we have some files which will not provide all the columns, and maybe some file will provide extra columns, and some of the file will be exact same columns. So we would like to use this one. Also, let's hover on this mouse and uh, hover the mouse here and see what this says. Infer drifted column types allow auto detection of uh, drifted column types. I'm going to go ahead and select that as well. So let's say you are getting some data and you would like to, you know, uh, data flow to make a decision for data type for that data. That's where what it says. Now we are all good here and uh, what we are going to do here, we are going to the input here and use the wildcard path. I'm going to say asterisk.csv. That means any file that comes in the input container, I would like to load. But that should be finishing up or ending with the CSV extension. Now, 
I will go back here in the data set, uh, go to open and uh, just remove this uh, file uh, because uh, I don't need uh, this file name here as we are using uh, our uh, wildcard here. So that means we are telling it uh, we use uh, all the uh, files. Uh, also, let's uh, put a name here, a column to store file. I'm going to call this one file name. Uh, so that will uh, store uh, the file name uh, for this column. Now we go to the sync here and then uh, in the sync, I'm going to use uh, Azure SQL uh, table. Uh, go to data set, create new data set. And here we'll say SQL and Azure SQL database. Uh, now I'm going to select a new and uh, then uh, select subscription and then a server name, database name, and then provide the username and password. So this link service is going to point to our Azure SQL database. Now let's hit the test and create. So you can see Azure SQL database 4, that's our link service. Select the table from that existing table and it's called the total sale. And we should be all good here. We don't have to do much here. So let's select OK. And uh, now we will be going back to the table and I'm going to show you if there is any data in this table. As of now, there is no data. So that's good. Now our data flow is ready and I can, okay, that's fine. Uh, drifted data flow. That's uh, the name I have given to my data flow. And now I will go to the pipeline, create new pipeline, uh, and then uh, simply drag my drifted data flow to the pipeline. Uh, once it's there, I can simply go ahead and debug and it should execute. It's in the queue now. It went into progress and it should be completing with success. Our data flow and pipeline has been completed successfully and let's go ahead and take a look. Here, we, what we have, we have table and I'm gonna go run select statement and you can see that the data has been loaded. For the exact columns, so you can see that this is the file that has loaded these records work just fine. Now we have another uh, column uh, table here, sorry, file that has extra column. Remember there was a test uh, column. So that is ignored and uh, whatever the columns what we had here, that is uh, loaded uh, just fine. Now what we have uh, another uh, uh, file that has less uh, records, uh, but the ID, remember that even this ID is small, but inside the file we have ID with the upper cases, that is not a problem. So it loaded that data as well. So you can see right there. So if you have this one more test, I might wanna do about it. Let's say if we wanna do something like that, I'm just curious if the sequence of those columns are different. So in this case, let's say we do less than column and I'm gonna go ahead and edit and here sale person first name. I'm gonna make it last name first, okay? And this is first name. So now I just wanna make sure even the sequence is not exactly same what we have in the table. Will it work or not? So I'm gonna save it and then just go ahead and execute pipeline again, but I will truncate this table one more time and then we will execute. That will kind of give me assurance even my sequence of my, um, let me see right there, pipeline three. Okay, so at the debug, so what I'm testing here, even the sequence of my table uh, is different. Uh, right here is of say salesperson first name is first, uh, and then salesperson last name. Uh, even in the file, if these columns come in a different sequence, uh, will that work or not? Uh, so I'm gonna see that as well. So let's go back here. Once the pipeline is completing, it's still in progress. So it's completed successfully. Let's go ahead and take a look and execute this. And you see that the salesperson first name, not a problem at all. So whatever, uh, you know, uh, it did uh, not, it did work just fine. Huh? So the sequence is really not uh, considered. So as long as your column names are matching, that's where it is uh, working on it. Uh, so you should be fine if uh, your sequence is a little different than your uh, a table. Huh? So I hope uh, this uh, uh, allow schema drift uh, is very helpful and you understand how exactly it works. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.